Hey, what's up guys? Um, this is kind of a 2.0 version for my last video. It's Brain Supplements for TIs 2.0. I apologize for my last video. It was a little bit rushed. Um, I had my buddy Jerron with me. He's a TI also, but I kind of wanted to do the video on my own. Um, and uh, yeah, I just felt uncomfortable having him walk up to the car and having me talk he, um, talk to the camera. Anyway, um, and I felt like the quality of my the advice I was giving you guys was wasn't that great. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I mean, choline is a good supplement for raising dopamine, but specifically acetylcholine, I guess. Um, Increases energy to the brain, protects from aging and toxins, and uh, it's, um, it's a neurotransmitter responsible for memory and learning. It's also CDP choline, and you can find it. I mean, Five Hour Energy puts it in their in their product, but they they probably do that <laughs> as more of a as more of a, a marketing technique. Because it makes you feel good, um, and again, caffeine will raise your dopamine levels too. But I wouldn't recommend that as a method because uh, it's caffeine. I mean, caffeine what lasts like what two hours? <laughs> anyway, uh, another one is another form of choline is phosphatidylserine. It's a uh, soy lecithin, I guess. It's um, and there's something about it. I guess it's. I've read that it's not. You know, whatever. Fuck it. I'll just. Uh, I'll just say it. It's. Uh, it's good for improved memory, learning, concentration. I don't know. I think Alpha GPC is a little bit better. It's a little more expensive, but. Um, Phosphatidylserine is a little more cost-effective. For those of you, because um, I know a lot of TIs are short on funds. I fucking couldn't have picked the worst place to record this video. I'm at like a major cross street, and they're just fucking coming out of the woodworks right now. Anyway, um, <clears throat> another one is uh, dopa beans. Dopa beans are good for, uh, they contain L-dopa, which is a, a precursor to dopamine. I've never tried them. They're also known by velvet beans. I guess you can find them online. I've never tried them, but I would, I've been really interested in trying them. I think I'm going to when I get some money. Um, another one is L-tyrosine. You can also get acetyl L-tyrosine, which readily crosses the blood-brain barrier. It's, um, these are, I'm going to do another video for supplements for anxiety. Um, supplements to help anxiety because... This, this video is for raising dopamine levels. And again, the L-theanine, I can't stress the green tea enough. Um, L-theanine, green tea is probably the cheapest way to get it. But L-theanine is and will raise your dopamine levels. It will help your stress and anxiety levels too. Um, yes, ginkgo biloba. It's good for memory loss brain fog, depression, and anxiety, and poor concentration. I think I could use some. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I was talking to a guy who just moved into my house last, last night, and uh, over the last three years, I've gotten to where I went from internalizing everything to, you know, I just finally got fucking sick of it. You know, I'm like, fuck it, you know, I, if I'm gonna go through this, I can't be alone. There has to be other people who are going through this too. So, um, and I've gotten to where I can kind of recognize other TIs or people that I believe have gone through it. <clears throat> Excuse me, or maybe they're just depressed or whatever. Um, anyway, this guy, I asked him if. Yeah, well, I didn't ask him. Okay, he caught me kind of he caught me fucking with the camera on my phone he's like well, what is that what are you doing 
It's like, oh, uh, no, nothing. So I just wanted to record the conversation because I, I could tell that he was he was another TI, and I was, you know, I've I've gotten to where I can I can kind of <clears throat> I can bring up the conversation in a in a rational, believable, in a rational, believable way where it's like, you know, where it doesn't sound crazy because the government can make you hear voices. There are LRAD or long range acoustic devices that you can fucking buy online for about five grand or however much they are. But and in 1991, there were like 150 Saudi Arabian troops who fucking dismantled their weapons and surrendered because they fucking all heard the voice of God telling them to do this. And, and then we came out later, the government, and said that we had we were actually behind it. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, it's this shit. There's plenty of evidence of it if you know how to explain it. Anyway, I brought it up to him. He said, <clears throat> yeah, you know, he used to go through it. He, uh, for some reason, it stops for him. They kind of leave him alone. He he used to be a tweaker, and he, okay, yeah, it's, well, you're hearing voices, but wait, weren't you a tweaker? They like to pick people like that because, I mean, this affects everybody, okay? Fucking, I don't care if you're a tweaker or what, fucking... They pick people like that because they're easy to discredit. Anyway, he said that. Um, well, there wasn't really anything that he said, but I was just glad that I was able to bring it up to another person and get it, get an understanding between me and another person that yeah, this is happening, and because uh, there's another guy in my house who is fucking with me basically and uh, you know I'm <laughs> I have little methods of fighting dirty you know what I mean I used to take let me show you <clears throat> I don't even know if I still have it yeah I do actually okay look you're getting pissed off you feel like people are fucking fucking with you you don't know how to be direct or you don't want to be fucking you don't want direct confrontation you know Take a little screwdriver, like that, you know, fucking, somebody part pulls up next to you, you know, you get out of their car, just fucking run it through their tire, no big deal, nothing happened, shit won't go flat for maybe a couple hours, maybe a day, I don't know, I've never seen him go flat, because I was never around to see it happen, but then again, after I left the staffing company yesterday, um, I noticed a screw in my tire, so, you know, just fucking be careful because, um, once you start fighting dirty, they'll start fucking elbowing in on you, you know, if you're gonna be, <sighs> there's always an equal and opposite reaction to everything you do, and again, they'll, they'll fuck with your car even if you're not doing anything, like, they, they never used to fuck with my car until I started making these videos. But, uh... Shit. What else? <clears throat> so, yeah. Get yourself some L-theanine. Some ginkgo biloba. Some CDP choline. Some dopa beans. Or some L-dopa supplements. You can buy that. I guess B vitamins, specifically B6, is really important in the dopamine synthesis process. Um, I forgot to mention that. Um, <clears throat> but then again, I don't know. I've, you know, I've always kind of felt like buying multivitamins is kind of a waste of money. And I have a hard time, like, with multivitamins and, like, fucking, you know... Popeye's chicken, like Carl's Jr. and all that shit, because that's that's not food. Vitamins aren't food. I, you know, just do what works for you. I don't know. Do what makes you feel good. Fucking me, I. I don't know. Fucking. Uh, I know I. Can't
contradict myself a lot, but uh, I'm just glad I'm finally starting to get a handle on things and that uh, I really hope these videos help because I don't, I can't, I can't not say anything anymore, you know, I fucking, as a targeted individual, I can't sit and fucking just suffer in silence like I'm suffocating. It feels like I'm suffocating when I don't say anything. And the reason, the reason I brought this up to my, this new guy that moved in was because I could kind of tell, I was like, you know, he, he looks like he might have gone through it at one point in his life, or maybe, you know, I have a good feeling he's maybe a targeted individual, or, or fucking who knows, he might be an implant here to fucking, uh, keep an eye on me, but, you know, if you live your life like that, oh, he's an implant, you know, he fucking, they sent him here, it's they, you know, you're gonna, you're not gonna get anywhere, dude, you gotta fucking be open to doing some research and, you know, but you gotta play your cards close to your chest. I'm not saying love your gang stalkers, but I'm saying, you know, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. You got one chance with me and, I don't know, I, <clears throat> he wanted to get dropped off at his mom's or whatever, so I dropped him off. So, I don't know, he, uh, I don't know, I fucking, like I said, there's another guy at the house who's fucking with me, kinda, and the reason I brought up the screwdriver was because I was about to take a sewing needle and a pair of pliers and run it through his bike tire, but, shit, I'm gonna post this, so now I can't do that, um, <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I'm living in a fucking sober living house with a bunch of people I don't know. I need, I've got Jerron, the black guy you saw in the other video. He's a targeted individual. This other guy I was just keep bringing up, Jason. Pretty sure he's a targeted individual. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get a feel for who he is. I'm pretty sure he's a targeted individual. And this other kid, Aaron, who's fucking with me at the house, like he's 18, 22 maybe. He's just the fucking dumb shit little porky pig little virgin looking motherfucker who would probably marry a virgin and fuck her and, you know, I, I don't know, I hope he fucking dick shrivels up and falls the fuck off because I've been kicked out of three places in the last four months and, you know, one of the places I got kicked out of for spitting in one of the guys' face because he thought it would be fun to fucking start making little noises and shit and fucking with me, so, you know, I, you can't be fighting like that if... <clears throat> if you're in a situation like me, you're in a sober living, halfway house, transitional living, whatever the fuck the regional dialect might be, you know, I, you know, I know, I know I swear a lot too, but I have a good attitude and I treat people with respect. And, uh, I guess what I was getting at with this last point was I need as many people on my side in that house as I can get right now. So anyway, you guys take care. I hope this helps you. Um, don't fight dirty unless you have to. And if you fight dirty, you know, go with the same principle as don't get mad, get even, okay? Um, all right, anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.